Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, today is the winter solstice. The sun is at its lowest point of the year, and every day after today, we'll start gaining a little extra sunshine. So we've made it this far, doing pretty well. You can see the sun out there still hiding behind those trees. It'll pop up here in a minute and the array will start catching full sunshine. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, uh, being the solstice, here we are, I've got two different strings uh, on this array. I've got 700 watts right here, and I've got 500 watts up here. Now, there are two different strings going to two different systems. The first one, these are uh, those new power 100 watt, nine bus bar per cell solar panels. And I've got two, four, six of them in series. I tried to tie an identical uh, one like this as for a seventh one. Was not able to get those out here anymore. So I've tied in a a Bouge RV 9 bus bar per cell 100 watt panel. And then I did the same up here. These are the new Power Classics 5 bus bar per cell. And same thing, I wanted to tie another identical one of those into that string. Could not get the new Powers out here anymore. So I tied in a Bouge RV 9 bus bar per cell on that string as well. So it's working well. All of these, of course, are identical, and those four are identical as well. And then these have just a little bit different uh, specifications on the panels, and I tied them in series anyway. And right here, now this is the classic, the one with the five bus bar per cell. Here's what it shows as its parameters. 6.6 .6 amps, open circuit voltage, 19.83, short circuit current, 6.56 .6 amps. And then right here is that nine bus bar per cell of uh, new power, those little square ones on the bottom of the array and you can see the values there, 19.06 voltage, 5.26 amps, 21.82 open circuit voltage, 5.55 short circuit current. Oh, it's hard. I'm crawling under a very tight space here. Anyway, I wanted to show the difference of these values. And then right here we have the Bouge RV specifications. Max power voltage, 18.15 volts. Max power current, 5.51 amps. Short circuit, 6.11 amps. Open circuit voltage, 21.4. So, as you can see, <clears throat> it's a little bit different than either one of those strings, but not wildly so. And since this is all that's available to me, Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and use them, and I have actually been using them, and they're doing fine. I know they always say that when you're running a string, they should be identical. For me, these are close enough. And I've been running these uh, two different arrays now oh, for at least the past week. And like I said, those six identical tied in series. I tied the seventh one, that Bouge RV, that has just a little bit specifications in those. And I've been seeing, uh, of course we have a lot of intermittent, uh, cloudy, rainy kind of conditions, but in pristine conditions, I've been seeing these pump over 600 watts. And then on the top string, again, those four are identical. This one, this Bouge RV, I just showed you the values, not wildly different than the others. And this is working fine too. You know, I see four to 500 watts, depending what's going on. So all working good. I've been monitoring it very closely. 
This is just what's working for me. I did want to put them all uh, identical, but that wasn't the option right now for me. So I went ahead and tied this in. I wouldn't have tied them in uh, and added these uh, kind of mix-matched or mismatched, even though they're not wildly mismatched. I wouldn't have preferred to do that, but I'm not concerned about the difference in those values. And in just a few minutes, these uh, two arrays are gonna be in full sun and they have been working perfectly. Now, this is just what I do for myself. I'm not suggesting anybody else do this. I would always try to make them identical in series, but it's not just wildly enough different for me to be overly concerned and they're working very well. And here's a, a shot of the Victron app on that 700 watt string. It's going into a 48 volt uh, Power Queen battery has been running like that for uh, quite a while now. And you can see the voltage, 130 volts roughly. The charge controller's uh, good for 150 volts. I've never seen it go anywhere near 150 volts. And it's just now starting to get into the sun. When it catches full sun here in a little while, that'll get up around 600 watts probably this time of year looking real good doing real well i'm not seeing anything i need to be overly concerned about and then here's a look at that 500 watt string again just starting to come into some sun it's a hundred volt charge controller you can see about 70 volts coming in there and I've never seen it push that 100 volts either. Uh, so it's all working very well. And of course, there's just not a huge value difference between that those panels. Ideally, I would have used identical panels, but those new powers, for whatever reason, I've not been able to get. My last shipment of those never arrived out here. They got damaged somewhere in the process and I've tried to reorder them and I can't. Now that may change, but I needed to kind of keep the things going out here. So I tried the Bouge RV, they're working just fantastically. So everything seems to be coexisting pretty well. So I just wanted to make a little video. Today's the solstice. We always get excited here, day's getting longer. Very happy with the way everything's working. And in just a few minutes, these two arrays will be in full sun, pumping up a couple of systems, doing very well. So I'll just recap real quick for you. 600 watts identical, put that one Bouge RV right here, not hurting a thing. 400 watts identical up there, Bouge RV tied into it. They're all 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels and there's just not enough uh, difference in those that would have made me hesitate putting these in and they're working just fine for me. Yeah, for your purposes, things may vary. It's not recommended, but I'm getting away with it. And I plan on keeping, getting away with things. <laughs> Aloha, everybody. The sun's coming back up a little bit every day. Have a good one.